probability is the likelihood that something will happen. So it probably will or it probably won't. And rather than kind of taking a random guess, we can use math to figure it out. So we're going to write a ratio or a fraction comparing what you want compared to all the possible outcomes. So let's say we have these candies here. The probability of a child picking a lollipop is, well, there are three lollipops. So that is what we want. Okay, so I'm going to write the number three, and then we're going to turn it into a fraction. The next number is all the possible outcomes. That means how many total options are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten candy options. Three out of ten are what we want. So we are going to change this to a percent. The easiest way is to make it a decimal first. So we're going to do the numerator divided by the denominator. 3 divided by 10. So here's the decimal. And then to make that um, a percent, you have to multiply it by 100. Or you can move the decimal two places to the right. And then you might need to fill in an extra um, number with a zero. So this one would be 30%. Likelihood, thinking about that likelihood line, it's not 0%, so it's not impossible. It's not exactly 50%, so it's not like equal. It is in between that, and that whole entire range is unlikely. So the likelihood is that is very unlikely. All right, now what is the probability of a child picking a jelly bean? There are two out of 10 jelly beans. So if we do two divided by 10, we get two tenths. Then you either multiply by 100 or move the decimal two to the right. We would have to add a zero, and so it would be 20%. Again, the likelihood of that happening is also unlikely. How about the probability of a child picking a candy without a stick? The lollipops have sticks, so the gumdrops, the jelly beans, and the starburst do not have a stick. So four, five, six, seven. Seven of the 10 candies, whoops, I forgot my fraction bar, do not have a stick. If I do 7 divided by 10, I get 7 tenths. And then I'm going to move the decimal 2 to the right. That would make 70%. That's more than 50%, so that's going to be likely. All right, sometimes we're going to have strange wording. So let's just look at these two quick. Um, also, a shortcut for writing out probability is using just the capital letter P. So this stands for the probability of getting a star or purple shape. Okay, so there are two stars and an extra purple shape. All three of these are a star or purple. Okay, so it would be three fourths. We could turn that into a percent by doing 3 divided by 4. The decimal is 0 and 75 hundredths. And when you move the decimal two times, that makes 75%. So that would be likely. Okay, so when it has or, we were adding these together. Now you're probably thinking, why don't they use the word and? <clears throat> well, if something says and it has to be both a star and purple. This shape right here is the only one that is a star and purple. So that would be one fourth or 25%, which is unlikely.